Hello, welcome. This video is all about Evergreen Colorado things to do. So if you're looking for family friendly activities, you're looking to get after it a little bit in the mountains, you want to check out a cool mountain town, you want something relatively close to Denver to hit the mountains. I can't believe how many people that I talk to that have moved here from other places that haven't been up to Evergreen to hang out. So this video, I'm going to give you five things that you can do up in Evergreen this summer. And we're about to get into it right here, right now. Let's go. So you're heading up to Evergreen, Colorado. There's a couple of different ways that we're gonna uh, get you there. So let's just start off with your options, your routes. And before we get into the activities, you gotta fuel up. So let me tell you where you can eat. The four ways you're gonna be heading up the hill. One, I-70, the fastest way to hit Evergreen. You're gonna come out on Highway 74 and it's gonna be like the commercial section of Evergreen. 20 minutes from the Denver Front Range, 20 minutes. If you're coming up 285, which is the other main corridor up into the mountains, you're gonna come through Conifer area. Two lanes, a little bit slower, it's about 45 miles through a lot of the canyon but it's beautiful and it's a it's a little bit more of a chill drive right before you bust to right onto highway 73 to get to the heart of evergreen i want you to stop at conifer cafe that's the place to fuel up if you're coming up through a morrison colorado which is a little bit windier it's one of the slower ways to get up here but you would go right by Red Rocks through the town of Morrison and then come up by Kittredge, you'll go right into uh, downtown Evergreen if you come that way. If you're gonna come through that direction, go to the Blue Cow Eatery. It's in Morrison, Colorado, right in town there. And the last place you can go is gonna be the most scenic route. In Golden, Colorado, you're gonna go to Bonfire Burritos. Heavyweight division, delicious burritos, probably the best burritos in the Denver Front Range. And then you drive up Lookout Mountain, which is windy, beautiful. You'll get a great view of the Denver Front Range, and then you'll see the mountains, and you'll wind through a little neighborhood, and you'll pop out right again on I-70, quick exit down, and you're at the commercial area of Evergreen again. If you're coming through the commercial area off of I-70, a good place to stop is in Bergen Park area. It's called the Bread Lounge. If you like bread, if you like muffins, breakfast sandwiches, danishes, all that stuff, you gotta go to the Bread Lounge. It's really good and they're very nice people there. Everyone's nice. All right, so you're fueled up, you're in Evergreen. Now what, now what are you gonna do? I say you go hit the lake, what they call the heart of Evergreen, Colorado. The lake is beautiful in the summer. I mean, it's beautiful in the winter too, but this is a summer video, so we're not gonna get into that. Now that you're at the lake, you can walk around it, you can do that, or you can jump on it. The Evergreen Boathouse, they have rentals, so they rent kayaks, paddle boards, and those little two people pedal boat things they have those too it's non-motorized so there's no motor boats on there or anything like that so it's super calm super chill and super beautiful they open at eight o'clock every morning seven days a week and they close at seven and they'll have other activities I believe there's still yoga on the lake so if you like yoga and you want a different experience you can sign up for yoga on the lake which is yoga on paddle boards you're gonna challenge your balance and your then you could do that. Next up, next activity is I want you to take a hike. Hey, get out of here, take a hike, man. One of my favorite things to do. I love hiking and there's so many hikes around Evergreen and of all levels. So if you have like a stroller or you're not sure footed or you have little ones, like the Evergreen Lake, it's about 1.3 miles around there. Plenty of benches, there's shade. That's a good place to, to start if you just want something easy, get the family outdoors and nobody's breaking ankles and going to the hospital. Also there's the Elk Meadows is a great hike. All of these are gonna be on the All Trails app, by the way, too. I love the All Trails app. Download that before you head up the hill and it'll tell you difficulty level, length, 
average time, average duration that it took people to finish, as well as conditions. And so you'll be able to see like sometimes Bergen Peak, which is one of the more challenging ones. That one, if it rainy or if it just snowed, sometimes the snow stays there a little bit longer. And so it's good to be able to check the All Trails app and make sure you have what kind of shoes you need to have. You don't want to bring your Jordans up in Bergen Peak in March because it's gonna be freaking sloppy. All right, so Elk Meadow around the lake, easy. If you want something a little bit harder, hit Elk Meadow, but then go up Bergen Peak. It'll be a nice climb, give you a great view of like the residential Haiwan Hills area of Evergreen. So that's a good place to go. My favorite hike is the Three Sisters Trail. Three Sisters because of these three peaks. And it's my favorite because it's a little bit challenging, but if you wanna jump up here and jump down, get out of there in and out, you can. Or you can make the trail a much longer hike. You can go 10 miles because it connects with so many other trails. A nice little peak, a nice little climb, and that's the top if you want the extra extra challenge you're gonna climb to the rocks at the top of the hill and you're gonna have an amazing 360 view of conifer evergreen uh, and the front range that's a beautiful place to be in the morning quick tangent there's another good trail on 285 it's called the Meyer ranch trail I calling that one out because in the summer it gets hot you need some shade and that one it's on the north side of the mountain in conifer and great shade the whole time also a good place in the fall when the leaves are changing color there's a lot of aspens up that way aspens are gorgeous in the summer and they got a little shimmer to them okay thing to do number four if you've done any of these activities maybe it's lunchtime or a little bit later and you're hungry again go downtown evergreen downtown evergreen is friggin awesome there's all kinds of good good places to eat for whatever you're looking for at the very beginning of downtown is the bait shack fried oysters little hole in the wall fun little place if you need more space you get a big group go to cactus jacks cactus jacks is a big patio big like parking lot like sitting area they'll oftentimes have live music there and it's just you get a little bit of everybody in cactus jacks it's on the lake and so maybe a little bit cooler sometimes it gets a little bit wily in the evening but if you're there during the day super family friendly bojo's pizza if you want some za you want to get down on that za that colorado za bojo's pizza is colorado pizza so check that out it's a little bit deeper dish it's not like giordano's it's not chicago style pizza like lasagna but it's a little bit thicker really good you should try that out it's an easy place everyone loves pizza that's an easy place to take people and then my favorite not just because i share the name murphy's i love murphy's mountain grill uh it's not a big place parking sucks over there it's at the end of the downtown area my favorite food my favorite cocktails Hands down, again, this one's right on the lake. It's also a Mexican place. Revival Breweries is right there. So downtown is awesome. Shopping, gift shops, take the family, hang out, go have some drinks, downtown Evergreen. And lastly, but not leastly, buy a house in Evergreen. You're gonna fall in love with this freaking place. It's awesome. On this channel, we make videos about what it's like to live in Colorado. That is it, simple as that. So if you're into that and you wanna learn more, stay up to date on all the other videos, that new hotness that we drop about cool stuff going on in Colorado. Subscribe and hit that bell. You'll be notified each time we put up that new one. So if you're looking for some really fancy schmancy houses, you're gonna go to Evergreen Lake and you're gonna bust a right up Upper Bear Creek. So Upper Bear Creek, multi-million dollar homes. Some of them look like castle cottages, just amazing, gorgeous, tucked right against the lake there. Uh, and then you're gonna take a right to Stagecoach and that's gonna whip you right back out to Highway 74, right by Evergreen Meadows, and you can continue on your way. But that's a really fun drive. Another one is just go from downtown Evergreen to Conifer. Yeah, if you're on a, a motorcycle or just a pedal bike, those are great routes to ride as well. Very bike friendly, outdoorsy area. You might have thought, hey, all those ideas that you just gave us sound like super hippy dippy Colorado, outdoorsy, granola crunching, super rude driving. 
uh, Birkenstock wearing stuff. Yeah, baby, that's what it's about. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, those are Colorado things. This is a Colorado town, and in Colorado towns, we get down like Coloradans do. Ain't no shame.